Alright guys, today I'm going to do another test using one of the Blender uh, demo files. I'm going to go with this monster under the bed, and you can get it from blender.org forward slash download forward slash demo files. And I'm going to be testing it with Turbo Tools, which if you're not sure what it is, it's basically an add-on that speeds up your cycles rendered. And it also comes with a load of tools for the compositor to do things like remove flicker from animations. So this is the scene, and we're going to render it first without Turbo Render. So we'll go to the compositor. And I'll set the cycles rendered device to optics. And I'm going to leave it at the default samples, which is 1024. And we're going to turn on the denoiser, the open image denoiser. And we'll set it to be use GPU as well. In fact, we'll turn on use node. We'll do render, render image. I've not even installed Turbo Render yet. And there we go. So the render's finished. And it finished if you go to the render mode of the image editor. We can see that's completed in 16 seconds. So I wouldn't really expect Turbo Render to be able to speed up the render because it's already so fast, but it should provide better quality. So let's just save this as default. We'll choose a new slot and then we'll install Turbo Tools. And now we're going to choose some options. So, firstly, we'll turn off temporal stabilization data because we don't need to remove flicker from an animation, it's just a still image. We'll set a location for the cache. We'll enable Turbo Render. And because we've got subsurface scattering on this monster by the looks of it, I'm going to turn on Heavy GI and obviously the subsurface scattering option as well. That should be fine. I don't, there's no world environment. I've got it set to the lowest denoise mode and the lowest samples. So this is 16 samples versus what it was before is 1024. So I'll do Render, Turbo Tools Render. It should finish rendering much faster, but the denoising might take... Oh, it's finished. So that's finished in 4.23 seconds. Now let's do a comparison, and we'll just name this one. So let's have a quick look for some areas to uh, investigate. So you can see we're actually getting quite a bit more detail on the monster's texture, whereas with the default settings, even though it took four times longer, we're getting much better detail with Turbo Render. See all those little bubbly details in there. Uh, the wallpaper is a bit more detailed with Turbo Render as well. Let's look at the cloth on this bed. And without Turbo, you can see it's very smoothed out. And then Turbo, we've managed to maintain all that texture detail. And the same goes for this fabric as well on the hoodie. Without, it's very smooth. And then with, We've maintained all that texture detail quite nicely. And also, if we look at this wood, we're getting much nicer results there as well. So I think that's pretty good, considering it was using 64 times less samples, because it was 1024 without the add-on and 16 with the add-on. That's a really good result. Let's just see if we can get a similar sort of speed up if we push the resolution up to 1920 by 1920. So let's render again without Turbo Render. As you can see, so that's finished in 53 seconds this time. So I'll just rename this slot and then we'll do it with Turbo. And it's finished in 14 seconds. So in actual fact, let's have a look at this. So it's still a lot faster. 53 seconds at 1920 without Turbo Render and then with Turbo Render. 14 seconds, so it's still, it's still maintaining around about four times speed up. We've just got a lot more detail now. For example, you can, you can see much better now what the sort of difference is making on, this, on these blobs. And the floor as well, actually, as well. We're zooming in there, so without, a bit smoothed out, can't see all that texture detail as nicely. And then we can with the turbo render version, even though it's finished sort of three, about, what, three times faster this time? Yeah, around about that. Three and a half times faster. So if you'd like to see more videos and more tests of Turbo Render, make sure you subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one.